How's it going everyone? Nicodox Phoenix here and today we're going to talk about Titan Season 3 Episode 3 titled Hank and Dove. <sighs> oh man, this episode is uh, is a bit much for me. Uh, I just got finished watching it a week late. Thank HBO Max for dropping three episodes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Episode 4 will come in like an hour-ish. Uh, anyway... The Titans are reeling from the discovery that Red Hood is actually Jason Todd. <sighs> the episode starts with Dick Grayson digging up a grave. And finding an empty casket. Hank goes... What seems to be full scorched earth, right? He's like, okay, give me ten minutes with him, like... I'll end this kind of thing. Like, and oh yeah, I finally got my Deadpool plush out of my car. It's been in there since 2019. Anyway, so Hank's like, yeah, just give me a few minutes. Uh, I'll I'll deal with him. Don asks Hank to tone it down a bit, right? Jason is supposedly family, like. It, everybody is reeling. We're just trying. They're trying to process it. And after this conversation, Hank gets a phone call from Jason, where Jason is seems to be like crying, like freaking out, like "Oh my God, what is going on?" type of thing. And he lures Hank into a trap at the Gotham City gym. There, and he places a device. Uh, about right here. Okay, hold up. Let me move back a bit. I'm gonna stand up. It's about r right here on, on Hank. You guys get to see my pajama pants. <laughs> anyway, so, the, it's it's a bomb. Uh, the bo So, they have Connor look at... Uh, Hank manages to make it back to the, to the Titans, and Connor ha they have Ka Connor look at the bomb, see what's going on. Like, is there a way to get it out? Connor sees that it is attached and it, you can't pull it out. You can't pull it out. If you try and pull it out, Hank dies. And there's a countdown. But it's not time. It is beats. It's like heartbeats. And they go into it and like we can all see where this is going. Um, uh, as much as I hate to say it, we all know where this is going. Uh, anyway, so. <sighs> Hank is dying. Jason calls. And tells Dick. You want to save Hank? I want this amount of money. I believe the amount was 50 million. Uh, in gold bars. Dick is like, no, we are not going to become criminals. We do not negotiate with terror. Him and Hank are like, no, we don't negotiate with terrorists. We're not doing this shit. And, you know, they're all like trying to figure out, like, what is this device? Gar and Connor are like, okay, let's look up the device in the back computer. They fail to look up Wayne Tech. So when it gives them zero results, Dick's like, that's because you're not looking up Wayne Tech. Dick gives them access. Search. The stuff. Surgical. Under Wayne Tech. They find it. Hank has the first prototype. And Con so Dick tells Connor. Build the deactivator. <sighs> While this is happening. Dodd and Hank are having a conversation, a very uh, loving conversation, wherein um, Hank gets angry. She gives him a carotid massage to calm him down. And um, yeah, they're both still, they both still love each other very, very much. Um, Hank says he can't wait to see Alfred and uh, Dawn does not take it very well.
Dick tells Don that they're they're they're, they're on the way. We're, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get this done the normal way. No being criminals. We're not gonna let Jason win. Uh. My goodness, I I just I don't know. I don't know what to do. Right, like very much so. Like so, Dick goes off to. Now he had sent Corey to find. How did Jason do it? Corey and Barbara and the short-haired, short white-haired uh, lady that was giving Dick attitude, uh, like last episode, I believe. Last episode or the episode before? Uh, it was this season. I know that's this one hundred percent because I was like, "Who the heck is you?" She hasn't been named yet, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Lady with no name currently because the writers have not deigned to give her a name as of yet. Uh, they all discover it's a guy named Cyrus Beak. So, Dick goes to Cyrus's address as Cyrus falls from a great height onto his car. Jason calls and says, "Hey, blah 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 blah." Okay. Oh, he said something about like always falling into the wrong time. Blah blah blah. You know, usual villain monologue. That's all boring as shit. No one cares. Dick says, tell me where you are and we'll end this. 336 something or other. <laughs> I remember the numbers, but I don't remember the name of the street. Uh, this is happening while Dawn is robbing a fucking bank. She broke. <laughs> she makes it to Jason before Dick does. And he, J Jason tells her. The only way to save Hank is to shoot me. Dick, of course, disarms her. He's like, no, don't do this. He will win if you press the trigger. That sounds like foreshadowing. That sounds like foreshadowing. So, in the 11th hour, Connor manages to make it. But wait. Before Connor can make it to Hank, Donch pulls the trigger. And the explosion goes off. Dick was right. Don pulled the trigger, and Jason won. Hank is dead. Or, Hank is theoretically dead. We are not 100% certain. I'm sure it's going to be confirmed in the next episode. I, of course, uh, you could tell why I was very somber at the beginning of this video. Um, and why I'm still a bit somber. It's, it's because Hank might be a, a massive asshole, right? But he's also a good person. So I very much relate to I relate very heavily to Hank and now he's dead. Now he's dead and I'm taking this personally. <laughs> right? Because Hank was the character I I related to the most, right? A very loving, lovable asshole. Who tries to do the right thing. I I relate very heavily to Hank. And now Hank is dead. So yeah. The writers kill me, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> the, the writers killed off the only character I, like, heavily relate to. Like, Dick! Uh, I guess Dick is also good, too. But I relate more to ha more heavily to Hank than Dick, because Dick is, uh... He's still Batman's first protege, and, uh... We all know the issues with Bruce. <coughs> Killing, Joker. <coughs> Killing Joker after he killed Jason. Anyway, um, oh, oh, yes, would you shut up for five seconds? <laughs> anyway, I, overall, I thought this episode was amazing, minus the ending where Hank died, you know. I don't like, y'all know I don't like death for the sake of character development, that's just dumb. The near death, like, if they had saved him at literally the last heartbeat, that would have had the same impact as, you know. Him died. Although I guess the love of his life and uh, killing him has more impact because she's the. If it's character development for Dawn specifically, it would have more impact because it's like I killed the love of my life, kind of thing. So hey, you know what? Let's see where this goes. Uh, obviously, him being blown to bits means they can't resurrect him with a Lazarus pit or any other type of thing. Um, at the same time, if we don't have a body, maybe he's not dead. 
Anyway, overall, the episode was pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I just wish that HBO Max did not drop three episodes on me in one go. Uh, luckily, they're not doing this every week because there's only one episode for this week, uh, which I'm going to get to watching right now. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. That's going to be for this video. If you guys haven't already hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright.